Uh, my name is Joyce Henyon and I own and operate a Cornhill farm. A small dairy goat farm with an on-site creamery where we make cheese and yogurt and fudge. Uh, okay, so we are on a shared farm. Uh, we moved here almost three years ago um, to grow the business. Um, the property is 274 acres um, and it is shared with I want to say five or six other businesses, other agriculture related businesses. And, and it, it, it was a farm that was being sold by a family that had been on this property since 1911. And when the farm was sold, it was at risk of being developed. And um, a conservation easement on the bulk of the property was um, put in place so that it will remain in farming, um, hopefully forever. I always really did want to do something with farming in some capacity, whether it would be growing or animals. Animals had a little bit bigger pull. You know, then I started the process of, you know, learning about the regulations and, um, you know, figuring out how I could do it on a shoestring budget at a time when there wasn't a lot of small scale equipment available. Um, so it was, it was an interesting path to get from the thought to the finish. <laughs> so I visited a, um, someone who was not farming but was making cheese um, and bringing in milk from surrounding dairy farms out in Saratoga County. Um, that's what gave me the idea of using my garage um, in Walker Valley as my cheese room because that's exactly what she had done. Um, so I was very lucky that I visited these people, I got ideas, they were able to tell me about how they met the regulations. You know, this piece of paper says this, and this is how I brought it into reality. Um, and that really helped a lot. And, and it gave me the vocabulary to communicate with the regulatory folks. We decided that um, Aaliyah would go to an alternative school, that she wasn't going to go into the public school system, which created a, a goal for my business, to be able to cover tuition for her at um, the local Waldorf school. We had, we had a rough couple of years around 2015, 2016, um, when uh, her dad and I split. And um, I, I reached a point where, I, I want to say it was like in 2016, maybe the spring of 2016, where doing everything alone was just wearing me down. And I walked in from the barn one day and I said, you know what, I can't do this, I'm going to have to sell the goats. And Aaliyah said, I'm going to help you. And I said, okay, well, we'll try. And you know, in cynical parent of a teenager at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we'll see how long this lasts. And P.S. Here we are in 2021. And now that Aaliyah has uh, become a young adult, now it's to build the business in a way that Aaliyah will have it going forward and be the second generation of Acorn Hill. Yeah, well, you know, I think the, the impulse on your part to say that you were going to help when I was threatening to sell the goats because it was just way too much. Yeah. So you made that well, statement. Well, I was kind of like, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this, is, a, my children this is an individual who does not remember a life without goats. I remember the truck backing up and the two goats coming out. I remember. Lynn, uh, Lynn no, brought them over. I take that back. I do remember time without goats, but it was like the preparation of getting the goats. Right. So do you regret telling me not to sell them? <laughs> I get cranky because half the time I don't want to come out here in the snowstorm, but I mean, that's part of it. I don't know. Do you, do you see yourself doing this 20 years down the line? I mean, yeah, but I'm probably going to get distracted with some side thing at the same time. I can't picture myself like not doing this because I don't think I'd know what else to do. 
<laughs> but it's one of those things where I'm like, anything else that I would do is very much a, I'm a farmer. Oh, and by the way, I do this too. Mm -hmm. Or some side thing that feeds into this or vice versa. It's like, this is just, my habitat is in there sleeping on a goat. Yeah, it's like, I can't explain yeah. it any other way. I'm just meant to be covered in goat fur. <laughs>